In this bite-sized tutorial, we are going to archive a folder using Python with zip file and pathlib in about 25 lines of code. Hi, I'm Rafael, and this is Coder Cave. If you are interested in coding, consider subscribing to this channel so you don't miss my new videos. Let's jump right into the code. All right, so the first thing we need is to import pathlib and uh, zip file. So uh, and from pathlib, we only need uh, path. So this is a library that will allow us to crawl the folder and uh, list all the files and directories. So to crawl the current folder, I will define a method called uh, walk. I started with an underscore to show that it's some, somewhat private. So what this method does, given a path as an argument, it's going to call iterdir on this uh, path, which means it's going to walk through all the objects in the directory. So either directories or files. So if the object happens to be a directory, the method will be calling itself recursively, extending the list of uh, files. If the object happens to be a file, then the file will be appended to the directory. And then the list of files is going to be returned to the method that uh, zips the files. Now, let's go on and uh, let's define the method that actually compresses the files. So for that, we will need to import zip files. And with that imported, we can define our new method. So this method is going to accept the, the folder that we want to compress and the name of the archive, of uh, the resulting archive. Okay, so first thing we need is all the files. And to do that, uh, to obtain that, we will call the walk function that we just defined up here. And we will pass the path that has been passed as an argument. Right now we have all the files that we want to archive. So now we move on and we use zip file to actually create the archive. So we need to create this uh, zip file stream in uh, uh, write mode and pass the um, compression algorithm that we want to use. So I'm using to I'm going to use zip deflated, which is probably uh, the most available one. And now that I have my zip file handle, I can go through all the files and uh, add add them or write them to the stream. Once I'm done walking through all the files, I can close the the stream. Okay. And this is the code that I need to archive the folder. Now, I want to, by default, archive the current folder. So I instrumented the co this code. So when the file is called, so let's say we do a Python 3 uh, zip this folder, it's going to call zip this folder as a method. And the zip this folder is going to compress the current working directory. So we get a handle of the cur current working directory using path.cwd, uh, which stands for current working directory. So what we do is uh, zip files. We pass the current working directory. And uh, here I will hard code a name and I will call it current uh, folder dot zip. All right. So this uh, okay let's uh, let's print compressing and then compression done okay so this should be enough we can uh, we can give it a try to test this script i move to a folder that contains a lot of, lot of mp3 files so the um, this is the current working directory sounds shared by think media think media is a 
uh, pretty cool YouTube channel that is sharing a lot of uh, stuff in the space of, uh, of course, social media and the uh, YouTube in particular. So what I need to do here is to call, uh, actually I will list the, the content. So we have a bunch of MP3 files. So now I'm, now I'm going to call Python 3 on that uh, uh, script we just created. And uh, the compression is already done. So now I'm going to list all the files again. And uh, I should have current folder over here as a zip file. If you find this tutorial helpful, hit subscribe. If you want to see this code in action, you can check my 30 minutes project called Freeze Me. That's an utility that does backups directly to the cloud. That's it. In this few lines of code, you have everything you need to create zip archives of a local folder.